right uh, in continuation with the previous video uh, I had copied the uh, Verilog uh, code for half adder and as well as its test bench to the online Verilog compiler so you can look that uh, uh, the compiler this particular compiler uh, online Verilog compiler source code window uh, will differentiate the color between the user defined name as well as between the keywords here all the keywords are recognized in terms of orange color and comment line are in purple color so comment section in Verilog always begins with uh, followed by two backslash for single line comment or else if you want to write multiple line comment like uh, So if I want to write a comment for more than one line, uh, I need to write backslash followed by star. And uh, I can write multiple line comment. And uh, any number of lines this is coming i can follow uh, i can come close this comment section by followed by star by backslash okay so this is how to write the multiple line comment for very long uh, for single line comment uh, the comment line comment section will followed by two backslashes right this is the main model up to this this will be the uh, main model and uh, these are the following codes for test bench. This is a test bench code. Now let me execute this. So if I execute, uh, the terminal section shows the following simulation result. So for zeroth simulation time, I had provided the A input value as zero and B value as zero. So, whereas I have provided the printable statement A equals, B equals, sum equals and carry equals. The corresponding signals will be reflected here. For A equals 0, B equals 0. This test bench is interacted with my main model. And the corresponding result for sum and carries are tabulated as 0 and 0. Even at 10th simulation time, because I have provided the another combination of the input after 10 time minutes of delay. For combination of A equals 0 and B equals 1. The result is sum 1 with carry 0. Likewise, I am going to verify the results of sum and carry. That is the result of half adder for the various combinations of the input of A and B. And uh, if any uh, logical mistake or any logical perception uh, that change that need to be changed uh, because of invalid result, which can be changed in the main model. Okay. That might be happen because of uh, improper relationship establishment between the input and output in the body of the very law. So there might be an wrong result, which can be verified in the terminal section. Okay. So this is about how to uh, simulate the half adder uh, main model and as well as the test bench in the online very law compiler. Now we'll go back to our uh, objective. Uh, As I explained in the last section, the intention of this experiment is uh, to emphasize the potential of Verilog by uh, understanding or uh, uh, to appreciate that uh, the Verilog provides an opportunity for the developer in the different way uh, he can uh, develop his design. So this is the example referred as uh, gate level description so in gate level description basically we will refer the interconnection of the logic gates okay so if the designer knows about the design information in terms of interconnection of logic gates then directly he can map this interconnection of the logic gates in the program or in the very large module so that flexibility is provided in the very large language and there is a more popular method of developing the code because uh, uh, this 
logic basic logic gates library primitives are already available as a inbuilt part in the very large compiler library so programmer or developer need not to write the separate code for this basic gates rather he can just uh, invoke or instantiate those copies of the logic gates any number of times without the additional burden of writing the code for this logic gate that's why this is one of the popular method of writing the uh, very large code for digital devices if the designer aware about the interconnection of the logic gates so in this particular section the module part is declared the module part remains same it don't alter irrespective of whether you are writing the code in uh, uh, data flow or behavioral or uh, gate level uh, the declaration of the module remains unchanged uh, here also we have declared output as sum and carry and input as a and b but the relation between the input and output is established in terms of interconnection of the logic gate so i invoked one xor gate because for this uh, this logical interconnection consists of an xor gate therefore we have invoked an xor gate with the gate instance name as x1 followed by the interconnection so the always for the gate primitives we have to show the connection for the output first followed by the input okay uh, any number of input can be connected but only one output so the rule says that always uh, when we invoke any gate primitives first we have to connect the output and means we have to show the connection for the output followed by the input therefore this xor output xor gate output is connected to some hence uh, the first connection shown as sum okay followed by uh, these two are the input so only one output therefore always the first connection in the gate primitive the result for the output and remaining connections are corresponds to the input therefore the uh, signal a b that is variables a and b will be connected to the inputs of the xor gate very similarly we will be calling an and gate with an instance name a1 so this instance name is user defined name any name can be given here and also we should show the uh, connection for the output first therefore uh, first we have shown carry followed by the input and the model so just the uh, very large module is developed is very similar to the interconnection of the logic gates we will invoke the gates which is required the basic gate which is required and we will establish the connection uh, thereby we are showing the relationship between the input and output or we are establishing the relation between the input and output this is also one of the popular method okay uh, if designer doesn't have information about the truth table he doesn't have the information about the design in terms of boolean expression but if he is readily available with the interconnection of the logic gates then this is the popular approach and the next approach is uh, a very higher level of abstraction called behavioral description uh, most oftenly uh, for almost all the designs we are following this approach which is also referred as highest level of abstraction in the very law uh, more or less uh, this kinds of abstraction looks like a higher level language like c syntax or uh, c approach okay uh, in this case if the designer does not aware about uh, uh, boolean expression or if we not aware about the interconnection of the logic gates but he know how the system works or if we know how the particular device works means how the results what are the results for a combination of the input in terms of truth table or functional table or how that particular block functions uh, if he know the functional behavioral then easily that functional behavioral can be mapped into the program one such a kind of example here so here uh, we assuming that we are not aware about the truth uh, what um, uh, logic diagram or else uh, the boolean expression but we know only the functional table then we can map this functional table into the program so i have declared module uh, half adder and as similar in the previous case the quotes are listed within the parenthesis and then uh, we have to identify which are all the input ports and output port output ports are specified as output sum and carry very essentially when we are trying to write the behavior description all the output port must be uh, identified as or must be configured as register type okay this is the one important thing suppose if you are writing a behavior description very essentially output should be modified as register type uh, by default all inputs and output are of type wire type 
uh, or net type but uh, for behavior description it is very essential input should be of the type y whereas output should be of the type register therefore output uh, ports or output signals should be modified as register type this is the one important note to be observed then inputs are declared here all the uh, what uh, behavioral statements will be encapsulated either within the always block or within the initial block so always block will execute continuously whenever there is any changes happen in the sensitivity signals or the parameters which are listed in the sensitivity list if any changes happen in that this always body will be keep on execute whereas initial block will execute only once okay so always at the rate of a comma b where a and b are referred as sensitivity parameter list means whenever any changes happen in the a or b signal the body of the program will execute if no changes in the values of a and b then the body remains unexecuted okay so that is the thing uh, suppose if i list only a means whenever a changes the body of the program will execute uh, if any changes happen in the b the program won't respond for that okay so that is the means meaning of sensitivity parameters are here uh, most of the cases all the inputs are listed as sensitivity parameters suppose if it is a sequential circuits like uh, flip flops counters in that case we will list only clock as the sensitivity parameter so always body should be uh, encapsulated between uh, begin and end keyword any statements which is referred as behavioral statement should be encapsulated between begin and end uh, if you have multiple statement if it is single statement this begin and end can be excluded so very uh, as very similar to c language i am using the if statement so i am checking that if the value of a is equals to 0 and b equals to 0 means if both value of a and b are 0 so here double equals means i am comparing whether the value of variable a is equals to 0 and as well as the value of b equals to 0. If so, if both values are 0, then I am assigning the values for sum and carry as 0 and 0. See, when we are using if statement or some condition statement, if I have more than one executable statements to be written, then that must be encapsulated between begin and end. If it is only single statement, this can be excluded. Okay. So, likewise, I am checking for the multiple statement. Suppose uh, if con this condition uh, does not true then alternatively i have i need to check for the alternative condition else if i'm checking for whether a equals to 0 and b equals to 1 and if so i'm assigning the proper values for that or else if i'm checking whether a is 1 b is 0 and as well as at last i'm checking whether a equals to 1 and b equals to 1 one important thing to be observed here is the uh, behavioral statements executes in sequential manner means one after the other the first if statement will execute after completion of execution of the first line of statement then second line of statement will be executing rather in case of gate level and data flow they are concurrent in nature uh, whereas the behavioral descriptions are sequential in nature okay so this is the one approach there are many such approaches are there there are many such potential uh, keywords and uh, methods are there to write the condition statement so easily the function of the device or the design and our interest can be translated to very lock code using the behavioral description okay this is the uh, other way we can uh, write the code for half adder so with this experiment what we have understood is uh, the very lock uh, is a potential uh, tool uh, so where which provides an opportunity for the designer uh, to develop the code in the different approach or in the different abstract level uh, even a one kind of information is sufficient so that the developer can uh, write the code for a particular design okay uh, the test bench or explained in the earlier video is also applicable for all this uh, design entity so you can uh, simulate it uh, as shown in the previous video so try to simulate all this experiment Thank you.